Hey guys, welcome to another video here on the Aviation Pro channel. In this video, I would like to give you a review of the Virtual CDU app. Uh, with this app, you can basically, very simple, you can um, uh, program your FMC with your tablet. So, either with an iPad, or, uh, but also for Android devices. Now, this uh, add-on is made by Virtual Avionics. And uh, they have released a couple of different FMCs for the Boeing 737 the 777 and the A320 and who knows maybe they will come up with more FMC's later on so uh, you can get this app in the App Store and it's about 20 euros it's quite expensive for you know, a relatively simple app it might seem but maybe it's much harder than, than you think it might be but um, it works very well and I think it's very worth the money it's definitely gonna enhance your flight simming experience because you really can program the FMC using your hands and not using the mouse in the virtual cockpit. So you just go to the App Store for example, in this case on the iPad you look for Virtual CDU and you're gonna see a page with uh, the, the normal Virtual CDU which is for the BMDG and iFly 737 and also the uh, 777 and the A320 is available. So I'm gonna review this app using uh, the iPad and the iFly 737 of course and um, so let's see how that goes. Um, so I've got the app here and uh, what you have to do, you have to install a little program um, on your computer where on which Flight Simulator is running so the app can communicate with Flight Simulator and with your computer. So you need to be on the same network at home and um, yeah, uh, if you if your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi and if you have configured everything properly, it can communicate with Flight Simulator and that way it can uh, immediately communi communicate with the uh, FMC inside the aircraft. Now I've made a video, a tutorial video right here in which you can see how to program everything and um, yeah, that will help you out to uh, get this app working for you. So let's go ahead and open the app. Uh, as you can see here, it's called Virtual CDU and uh, I've configured er everything so uh, I'm just gonna click on connect and as you can see it immediately comes up with the first page and if we take a look at the FMC in the cockpit of the iFly 737 it is exactly the same page so it, it works very simple you can just press buttons to uh, program the FMC so we can for example first do the position and as you can see the position is already in there and as you can see as you type things they immediately show up in the actual aircraft itself so not on only in the iPad no it immediately synchronizes with the FMC inside the airplane so that's of course very good you can immediately see immediately you can see what you're doing and um, yeah basically the FMC comes with all the other functions that you would find in the iFly 737 or the PMDG 737 so you don't have to worry that you will miss things because it's exactly identical. So let's f uh, take a look at a little example. Of course, we want to have the performance data, everything. So um, for example, the gross weight. Now we can just press this button. It automatically comes up with the gross weight. Uh, reserves of two, cost index 30. And you just need to watch as I type on the iPad, it immediately synchronizes with um, the FMC in the airplane so there's absolutely no delay you don't have to worry about that um, it kind of works the same like the remote flight apps that I've uh, reviewed before and um, in this video you can see the remote flight com app and, and it, it works the same I mean you have to install something on your computer it communicates um, with the app on your iPhone in this case or uh, on your iPad and in that way uh, you can control the radios and in this case with this app you can just uh, yeah uh, you can program the fmc so uh for example cruise altitude 340 cruise wind of course this is all fictional data that i'm just coming up with um, say it's 15 degrees centigrade outside transition altitude of 5000 feet and we're gonna click execute so as you can see it works perfectly fine um so take off the rated thrust, flaps 5, center of gravity in the iFly 737 can be programmed automatically. There we go. Comes up with a trim setting. Uh, we can confirm uh, the V speeds. As you can see in the app, the V speeds don't actually become larger or bold, as you can see in the uh, um, iFly uh, FMC, because um, it should be, because when you 
have the feed speech you have to click on them to confirm them but they don't actually um, become bigger when you click them here so maybe that's something uh, virtual avionics has to work on but um, it's just a small thing uh, in general this app is very very useful um, I mean you can um, easily you can easily program your FMC you can do it in your uh, home cockpit of course but also when you're on the couch having a coffee you can just <laughs> program your FMC um, before you're going to make the flight as long as flight simulator is running on your own PC and as long as you're both connected to the same network and of course when you have a very long cruise and you're flying offline and you don't have to uh, stay with the aircraft all the time you can just program and make changes in the FMC that way of course I would not really recommend to leave your aircraft like that but uh, yeah, it works perfectly so uh, it's very easy and it comes with all the functions so that's what I really like okay so another little thing that I found except for the v-speeds not uh, becoming bold is that um, as you can see here this certain waypoint um, just ignore this of course um, this waypoint as you can see in the iFly 737 FMC it's as a white background because uh, something has changed there I believe I'm not exactly sure uh, right now what the cause of this is but this is just to show you that you don't actually see that white bi background on the app it's just um, it's just the gray the gray text so no white background but this is a little little thing of course and then another tiny little thing that you might not like is that there are no sounds so in the real world the FMC kind of makes little clicking sounds um, but uh, yeah it's not programmed in the app so you won't hear anything I mean if you try to turn the volume up you don't actually hear anything just to make sure for example no sounds so that's another thing uh, you mi might not like um, but in general the app is very very useful and um, as you can see if you press a button you can actually see that it's being pressed I'll just uh, zoom in a little so you can see it properly so we have the progress button and if I'm pressing it you can actually see that you're pressing it so that's kind of cool of course so you can really see uh, which button you're pressing and in that way you navigate through the FMC so in general I really like this app I definitely recommend it although it's a little bit expensive for just an FMC app but of course it's um, not as expensive as buying a uh, real uh, hardware FMC I mean those things are kind of maybe um, 300 to 1000 euros maybe so I would definitely recommend uh, this app if you want to go for the cheap option if you uh, have a tablet so again it works for Apple devices and for Android and uh, it's very easy to configure and it just works instantly just like the remote flight uh, products so uh, thanks for watching uh, this video of uh, the uh, virtual CDU app I can definitely recommend it again in this video I explain you how to configure this app it's very very easy and in that way you can start programming your FMC uh, with your iPad or other tablets so thanks for watching this video here on the AVH Pro channel and I hope to see you next time